Hey guys, this is Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Hope everyone is doing well. Hey, looky there, man. This is our first calf of the year. This is a first year heifer, just had her first calf. Very, very happy, very pleased to see that. Hopefully we'll have a bunch more. Proud mother, she's taking her away. I'd love to put an ear tag, but I can't get close enough. Hey guys, this is Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Hey, I want to talk to you a little bit about a problem that I've been having. Uh, of course, I'm short on hay this year. We had so much rain. We couldn't get uh, hay this year. Everybody's in short supply. Price of hay is going through the roof. I've seen it as high as $100 a bale in some areas, plus delivery. Well, a traditional hay ring, I'll show you one here in a few minutes. You'll notice that they'll, uh, they'll pull it out and they'll waste about 20% of it. Oklahoma State University did a great study on the various types of hay rings and what they found out is that a traditional hay ring you're still getting somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to maybe 25 percent waste on a bale of hay and for every bale you put down at a hundred dollars that's like throwing 20 to 25 bucks on the ground and just blowing it so uh, I decided to start doing my own research and I've decided to play around and buy a few rings this one is a knockoff I believe of a, a brand called Go Bob up out of Tulsa. This one is, I believe, a tough version. Is uh, I believe what the name was on it. Let me look here. Uh, tough Livestock Products is what this one is called. Tough Livestock Products. Went ahead and put the Heritage Farm sticker on there. And it is a well built, all welded. There's nothing bolted together on this. You can see the design has got a little curved in. And you can see they've already pulled some hay out on the ground. They say, uh, if you look at that Oklahoma State study, that ones with skirts can actually save um, or reduce the amount of waste from like 20 to 25% down to 6%. I think this one is probably gonna be in the uh, 10 to 12% range as far as reducing waste. I'm going to go show you another one here in a minute, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So hold on. Okay, guys, this is a uh, more traditional style hay ring, and this is what we've been using for multiple, multiple years. And you can see, I mean, I want you to look, if I back up here, we can get a wide angle. Look at the amount of hay that is on the ground here. And the rings, you notice on the bottom here, are they're not vertical, they're horizontal. There's a few verticals for support. But what happens is they go in there and they grab a bite of hay and then they take a step back because there's all these other cows around. They drop it on the ground while they're chewing. Other cows step on it and once that happens, they will not eat it off the ground. And uh, so this is what Oklahoma State was talking about. They're like, hey, for every bell of hay you're putting out, you're wasting maybe 25% of it just because of the type of hay ring that you're using. And you know what? Looking at this one, I believe it. It's enough to make you sick, especially when you're short on hay, you're having trouble finding hay, and the people that have the hay are uh, taking advantage of supply and demand, and it's going for a premium right now. So this is a traditional one, and um, I'm gonna show you another brand that I also bought to test, which I believe is gonna be the Cadillac, and Oklahoma State pretty much confirmed it. So uh, let me uh, show you another one of the traditional ones. Sit tight. Okay, here is another example up one of the uh, traditional hay bales and uh, or hay rings and you can see how much waste is on the ground i mean it is just everywhere here we'll back up a little bit now i've fed two or three bales out of this this particular hay ring in the same location it's really time for me to move it but boy the first thing you notice here is just the amount of scrap that is on the ground it's just crazy so yeah, if I'm looking at that, there's probably, uh, I don't know, $30, $40 worth of hay laying on the ground over the course of multiple years. Man, that adds up. One way to look at it is if you're putting out 10 bales a week and uh, you're wasting 20% per bale at $100 a bale, that's, that's $200 you're throwing on the ground every single week. Doesn't take long to pay for uh, one of the more modern, more expensive type of uh, hay rings. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna take you back up here and I'm gonna show you one of the uh, the premium ones. This is the one that Oklahoma State said would reduce your scrap or waste from 20% down to 6%. So uh, pretty anxious to see how this one works. If it works well, I will definitely be getting more of them. Hey, uh, more information to come. We'll talk soon. 
Okay, so based upon the Oklahoma State survey and research project they did, they said this was the best design for hay rakes. This is a Baxter, I believe is what the brand name is. Uh, depending on where you're buying them, they're probably around $650. They're not cheap. They come in three pieces, you bolt them together, but uh, it's got some interesting design characteristics to it. First off, it's got the full skirt on the bottom, not a partial. So once again, that's gonna hold all of the hay in. Uh, the cows will come up, you got your hay that goes in here. They can't really pull from the top because of the bars on here. So they'll pull from the bottom. Anything that they actually eat will drop back into the skirt. They can't step on it. They can't urinate on it, poop on it, blah, blah, blah. So in theory, this is the one that Oklahoma State said through their findings and research would give you about five to six percent waste. So I'm getting ready to take this bad boy out to the pasture. Got a bell of hay, got the ring, got the New Holland 5060, and we're gonna go set this thing up. Look okay. there. Already got our Heritage Farm sticker on there. Just brand your stuff, you never know. Something like this expensive may walk off one day. Anyway. I'm kind of excited. So we got a little experiment going here. So we got the uh, Tough Products, which is kind of a Go Bob knockoff. Uh, we got this uh, Baxter, and then I showed you about three or four examples of a traditional ring. So uh, more information to go. As uh, expensive as these are, we can't really uh, replace all of them in one year, but uh, maybe in a couple of years, start gradually replacing them. Uh, that way you'll have them uh, wearing out and at different stages so anyway we'll give you an update after we feed out of this for a couple of days and show you the results hey talk to you soon Thanks. hey guys here's an update on one of the new feeders that i put in so this feeder has been here one week once again this was the tough livestock products uh, so i've had this feeder here a week and i tell you what i'm pretty impressed look at the amount of hay that is around the base Look right here, I mean, that's bare dirt on this side. Of course, they got the sky skirt, but even on the ends and the corners where there's not a complete deal, not bad, not bad at all. Hey, this is the fun stuff here though, check this out. One, two, three, looks like three baby calves this week. I like it, like it a lot. All right, anyway, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, so far, I think those two new feeders are gonna work out like champs. This may be the better one because this thing here is tough. Literally, the brand name, Tough Livestock Products. I think this thing will be here several, several generations. Hey, uh, hope things are going well. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, this is Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Hey, uh, contacting you from uh, what we call our Telephone 2 pasture. And uh, you can see the herd is up here. See some calves off in the distance. But hey, I want to follow up this week and talk to you about this uh, Baxter hay ring. If you remember last week, I told you uh, I purchased them. So this is one week in the field. And uh, the thing that you notice, let's look around, you see very little waste. Uh, and the other thing is look inside. You notice this thing is basically ate all the way down to the bottom of the ring. So I kind of like it. So if you look at this, uh, depending on where you're looking at this, but not a lot of hay scrap, a little bit, definitely less than a traditional hay ring. So then let's walk right over here to a traditional ring. So uh, I filled both of these up and uh, look at the amount of waste that is on the ground around this one. Uh, you can see they did not eat this one all the way to the bottom and around it, I mean, there's literally six or seven inches of hay around the base of this ring. So I think I'm onto something here. I'm gonna see if I can pan back a little bit and just look at this, but uh, man, yeah, there's a good 10 feet of hay all the way around that hay ring versus the Baxter, which you can just see right over here. walk back over and take another look at this you can check this Baxter out I mean there's just not that much 
So uh, I think this thing's a winner. Time will tell. My only concern is uh, the price of this hay ring. I'm just wondering how the metal's going to hold up if this thing lasts 10 years. Hey, it's a buy. If this thing only lasts two years. Uh, I don't know if the savings are going to be there to justify it. But anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, I like what I see, though, so far anyway. And uh, if you like what you see, hit the uh, like button. Uh, also hit the subscribe button. Uh, click on the uh, little bell icon next to it, and we'll continue to send you uh, updates when we have new videos posted. So, hey, look at this, man. I see calves in the background. Mom's taking them off and hiding it. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, hey, please subscribe. Also, check us out on YouTube, uh, Facebook, you name it. Thanks, man. Bye.